Bimkanaya Nugan, a genim naya lak umnan mege. Bomo gala apayang, in nilama imi amka angap, kala jiwa nimok, a bemgam nyama naya ayam. That is truly excellent news. Mim ilik meraka, naya naram, kam kalu amik manik, manala yang perlu, amka kalami naya kira nubua. Excuse me. Yes, could I speak with you for a moment? I don't mean to trouble you, Jedi, but I'm curious if anyone from the ship's crew has come to speak with you yet. No member of the ship's crew has sought me out. Should they have? I heard a rumor that there's an Imperial warship following us. I know, I know, the Treaty of Coruscant, but I don't trust the Empire to keep the peace. It's wise to anticipate deception by the Sith, but don't let fear cloud your judgment. It's hard not to be a little afraid, knowing what the Empire was capable of back in the war. The crew won't tell the passengers anything at all. It's not very reassuring. If the Empire wants a fight, we'll give them one. Are you insane? This is a transport, not a warship. We wouldn't stand a chance against them. Warning! Warning! Incoming fire! All hands, brace for incoming! Repeat, all hands! Can you hear me? Are you all right? You don't need to worry about me. Good, good. That was quite a hit. We're lucky not to be hurt. Listen, you have to get to the bridge. The captain will need all of the help he can get right now. Go, hurry. Let's just hope it's not too late to help. It's never too late to try. Good luck. Come on, Tyrus! You can make it, sir! You can make it! He's gone, sir. You're in charge now. What are our orders? Your orders? Weapons are out! Shields are out! Comms are out! There's nothing we can do! The path may not always be clear, but that doesn't mean there is no path. Why is this Jedi standing on our bridge spouting nonsense? We're in a situation here! Sir, we need all the help we can get. If we don't keep it together here, we're finished. Keep what together? The Imperials have us by the throat! We're as good as dead already! That's really not helping things right now. I just can't believe this is happening. Sir, incoming message. The Imperial ship is hailing us. What? Oh. Well then put them on. Republic Transport SLS, this is Grand Morph Rikus Kilrin. Your defenses are entirely disabled. Attempt no resistance. We're aware of our situation, Kilrin. Just tell us why you're here. Your ship is transporting a known anti-imperial terrorist and seditionist, the so-called Ambassador Vin Asara. I've come to collect her. Who? We didn't take any passengers by that name. I've never even heard of this person. <laughs> Interesting. Lying or incompetent, no matter. My agents aboard your ship have confirmed the Ambassador is there. You have spies aboard our ship? I have eyes everywhere. Imperial soldiers are preparing to board your ship through its primary airlock. My agents will ensure that you do not interfere with them. If you attempt to stop my men from arresting Ambassador Asara, I will have every living thing aboard the Esselus killed. Where is the primary airlock? I'll stop the Imperials as they try to board. Weren't you listening? If we try to fight, they'll slaughter us. We have to cooperate. It won't matter. Kilrin has us now. He'll kill us all. He's famous for it. The only one he wants alive is the Ambassador. If Kilrin gets the Ambassador while we're sitting in his sights, we're goners. Those soldiers have to be stopped before they can succeed. I'm glad we're all on the same page here. Listen, I'm sorry I lost it earlier. It means a lot to have your help right now. Thank you. The Jedi way is to serve. Maybe so, but we appreciate your help all the same. I'll have our security team meet you by the primary airlock. They haven't seen much action, but Commander Narlock knows his stuff. Good luck. We're all counting. This is it, man. This is what you've been training for. The Imperials are coming, and we're not gonna let them pass, are we? Sir! No, sir! We aren't fighting alone. An experienced volunteer is going to help us. The Imps won't stand a chance. The Force will guide us to victory.
The Force will be with us, men. We'll be unstoppable. The imps will cut through any second now. We need to take up defensive positions. Ah, yeah. Victory! We've done it, men! We've done it! The ship is saved! I'm sorry, Commander, but that... That isn't the case. We defeated the entire boarding party. Nobody could have slipped past us. No, you're right. It's not you the Imperials slipped past. First Officer Hawken walked us right into a trap. The attack on this airlock was a ruse. After Hawken sent you here, Imperial Commandos snuck aboard. They were led by a Mandalorian mercenary called Iron Fist. Mandalorian mercenary? What are you talking about? The Mandalorians work for the Empire. They're some of the best warriors in the galaxy. And Iron Fist is one of the most famous. Iron Fist and his Imperial Commando stormed the bridge, and now the entire area is locked down tight. We have to stop the Imperials from gaining control of the ship. That's why I rushed to find you. Something has to be done. What is this all about? Why are the Imperials so desperate to capture you? Because of my work. I'm a Republic ambassador. I travel to Imperial-controlled planets and convince their governments to come over to our side. Turning potential enemies into friends spares us unnecessary conflicts. Not all battles can be avoided, but diplomacy can gain us so much more than fighting. But we can talk about my work later. We need to retake the bridge. The longer we leave the Imperials in control, the harder it'll be to remove them. I already told you, Iron Fist has the bridge locked down. There's no way in or out. A security lockdown. That is bad. Chief Engineer Salen might know of a workaround. Hopefully we can get to Salen before the Imperials. Do you know where he is? He and his team will be down in the engineering section. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. We'll need a diversion. If the Imperials notice the hatches to engineering opening, they'll flood the area with soldiers. My men and I can handle that. Form up, men! We're gonna go start some trouble. Let's get that bridge open. We'll give those imps something to think about, won't we, boys? I'll go along with Commander Narlock. Once you've cleared a path to engineering, I'll double back and join up with you there. Good luck. Whoa, you're a Jedi. Chief, hey Chief, look, there's a Jedi out there. You must be crazy coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. Commander Narlock said that you might know of a way to unlock the bridge. The Imperials have it sealed off. The imps pulled the lock down? You gotta be kidding me. You really cleared this place out. I didn't run into a single Imperial on my way down here. Listen, there's no time to waste. Commander Narlock and his men are being overrun. We have to get the bridge unlocked now. So I've heard. I'd invite you in, but the lockdown has our door sealed too. Can you get the bridge open from there? Depends on how we go about it. Just let me think a minute. What about a reactor reset? That would disengage the security locks, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, but a reactor reset vents the engineering compartment. We'd be blown into space. Besides, controls are on the other side of the door. What else could we do to open up the bridge? The secondary conduits. They're spread around a bit, but if you shut them all down, the security will go down too. Then we'll be in business. That's kind of stretching it, don't you think? Hey, who's the chief engineer here? Shutting down all of the secondary conduits will get the bridge open, no doubt about it. There's no time to go running all over the ship. If we don't act now, the Imperials will overwhelm us. I'm sorry, Salen. We need to unlock the bridge while we have the chance. We have to reset the reactor. You and your men will be remembered. Resetting the reactor is the only way to be sure. No! Get away from that control! Have you lost your mind?! I'm sorry. But sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. Better get going. We need to attack Iron Fist now before he has time to recover. This opportunity was costly. We can't afford to waste it. That's right. We have to make those men's sacrifice count. I'll go and help Narlock with another diversion, so you have as little resistance as possible when you attack the bridge. You'll still have to deal with Iron Fist, though, and that's no small challenge. What do you know about Iron Fist? 
I only know Iron Fist by reputation. But he's been doing Grand Moff Kilrin's dirty work for a long time now. He's never been captured, defeated, or even driven back. You have your work cut out for you. Where there's a will, there is a way. I will not fail. Just be careful. Mandalorians always have a few tricks up their sleeves. All right. No more time to waste. Narlock, are you there? Can you hear me? Copy. This is Narlock. Set for second offensive? That's right, Commander. I'm on my way to join you now. Let's make it happen. Good luck. Well, well. I was wondering when you'd finally show up. This is it? There aren't more of you? Go ahead, then. Show me what you've got. Let's vape this worthless scum and get back to- First Officer Hawken, do you have any spare shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't- Then that's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilrin's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. It's a desperate plan, but Kilrin certainly won't be expecting it. I've been aboard warships like Kilrin's. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. Hmm. We need every advantage we can get. It will be good to have you along, Ambassador. I'll do my best to help in any way I can. Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. Hey, hold up a minute. I need to talk to you before you go. I know what you and Asara did down in engineering. How could you just kill all of those people? If we survive this at all, it will be because of me. I've been flying with Salen for ten years. Do you understand? Seems you and Asara will sacrifice anyone and anything. Well, if you ask me, there's only one sacrifice that needs to be made to keep this ship safe. You want me to hand the Ambassador over to the Imperials, don't you? Yes. For the sake of us all, I want you to leave Asara behind, on the Grand Moff ship. With the tractor beam down, we'll be able to escape, but Kilrin will just chase us down again. Unless he's already captured his target. Asara is the reason for all of this. If you're serious about doing whatever it takes to save this ship, then you'll make sure she doesn't come back with you. You may be right about this, Haken. I know I'm right, and I'll be sure you get a suitable reward if you side with me. Anyway, you'd better get going. I've held you up too long already. Good luck. Well, I've seen some incredible things in my time, but you've just topped the list. I'm sorry I couldn't greet you in person. If only you had let me know you were stopping by. Your taunts are useless. This won't stop until the Esselus is free. Are you certain me? I can only be cordial through so much. My men will be along shortly to escort you to the accommodations I've arranged. Your men can't stop us, Kilrin. You greatly overestimate your chances. Iron Fist wasn't the only weapon in my arsenal, nor the deadliest. See you soon.
Greetings. At last, a real, live Jedi. How I've looked forward to this. A true Sith cannot go long without a true challenge. You're a dead man, you understand me? Death will never come for me. I am death. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. When I carve your heart from your chest, your fellow Jedi will sense your defeat, as will my master. The time for discourse is over. You're right. Words are nothing without action. Come on, get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? First Officer Hawken doesn't want you to come back from this one, Ambassador. He thinks you'll just cause more trouble. Is this a joke? That spineless, indecisive... He wants you to hand me over to the Imperials? Unbelievable. After everything I've done to save the ship, everything I've done for the Republic, that scum tries to betray me to the Empire. Wait. You didn't actually agree to leave me behind, did you? Keeping you with us would be too dangerous, Asara. No! How can you do this to me? How can you just leave me here to die? Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good, Ambassador. How dare you? Go. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here, now! We're safe! You did it! You did what no one else could have done. You've saved us all. We owe you our lives. Every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. It's been an honor to help and protect you all. If you hadn't been here, we'd all have been doomed. We can't thank you enough. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need. The same way you saved us. You have my gratitude. Don't forget that bonus I promised for that extra bit of help. I'd say you've done quite well for yourself. It's a shame that Ambassador Asara had to lay down her life so the rest of us could escape. The Republic is fortunate to have heroes like Asara, and like you. I simply feel the Force and let it direct my actions. I won't pretend to understand that. Whatever it is you do, it works. One thing's for sure, Grand Moff Kilrun won't forget about this anytime soon. He's going to want revenge. Count on it. Asara was Kilrun's target. I don't think he cares about us. Even so. You made his work much harder than it should have been. Anyway, enough of that talk. It's time I got back to the helm. Enjoy the rest of your trip, and thanks again for everything.